requires something so satisfying as this. Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here, bringing you the first bit of gameplay from Hard Space Ship Breaker, a single player space salvage game that launched on Steam today, June 16th, 2020. And thanks to the developers for giving me a copy so I can show you in a future where much of the solar system has been industrialized and Earth has deteriorated significantly. There are people who make a living as ship breakers, and that's you. Working for Lynx Salvage, your mission's to get up close and personal with old spacecraft in orbit, dismantle them and sort the bits into the cracked boxes. It's like viscera cleanup detail, but with metal instead of intestines and spleens. Although there could be a bit of that as well if you're not careful. Please give this vid a like if you liked it and a dislike if you didn't and sub to the channel for more news, reviews and me being mediocre at games. Alright, so we're going to do a bit of the tutorial first. Welcome to Morgan Station. Wow. Wow. Go ahead and open your work order and let's get started. Okay, so, looking at our you work order. pay off your debt like Sullivan did. It's all about completing your work orders. Alright, so it just wants me to get used to the controls, and this is boring, so I'm just going to skip this bit. Okay, so we've got a grapple gun, and we can detach things with it. So let's try it with this antenna. Pull that Oops. Okay, don't do that. Be sure to always budget for helmet repair costs. I meant to do that. It's alright. So these are salvaged that we can put in our barge. We want to save those because they're good. There are other places you can put things. You can salvaged put things into secured. the processor or Credit the furnace, deposited. depending on what they are. Let's do that a bit more gently, shall we? Alright, Cutter. You ready to perform a little zero G ship surgery? Let's boot up your scanner and see what we see. Now we're looking for cut points. Think of them as the chunks of glue that hold the key structural segments of the ship together. Yes, that's these Bingo. yellow bits here. That's what we're looking for. Now we've got a cutter as well. Here it is. What we can do is we can cut these points. That's one. Two. Beautiful. And then we can use the grapple to try and pull that off there. And we can also <laughs> blast things in a certain direction. That's it. There. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Thank you very much. And that's what it's all about, cuz. Go ahead and see where you're at on earning your first cert. Good. So we have to work towards certification, which we're doing. That was just training. Earning certs gives you access to better upgrades and perks for your tools, gear, and equipment, as well as access to more valuable ships back in your hab. Speaking of which, let's mosey on over to your personal habitation unit right now, because that's what you do when you finish your shift. You didn't think Lynx made you sleep out here in the yard, did you? Weaver Huzzah! So we have got basic certification, new rank 2, and that allows us to unlock a modular laser cutter upgrade. You're gonna like this one, Cutter. Let's check it out now, shall we? Ooh, I have a feeling I'm going to. This is the split saw. Okay, so there we go. Nice work there, Cutter. It's time to take the training wheels off and let you loose on this thing. Go get them, Tiger. Indeed. So, let's just have a look at the scanner vision. And inside, you can see that there are actually some crates that we've got to salvage. And also, well, we can salvage all of this. But we've got to cut it up into the appropriate pieces and dismantle it in a nice way. So let's do that now. Let's use this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now that means we should be able to drag these sides off and put them into processing. Go on, you get in there. That's it, you go in there. Now, what we've got to do is open this bad boy up. And this is where the split saw comes in really handy, and it's a lot of fun. Don't say, Doctor, that we make an incision here. And there. Ooh. 
beautiful. And I think probably just cut it off at the top there. And at the bottom. Oh yeah. Surgically like so. Oh! Damn it! I did it again! Yeah, don't do that. Just do it gently. Do it gently. Bingo. What have we got in here? Aha! Some soft crates. Put the soft crates down there. We don't know what's in them. Presuming it's good stuff. Right, let's uh, get rid of these like this. Oh, there's something so satisfying about this. That now means that these pieces are free. Object accepted for processing. Credits and then we've got this hunk here, which all has to go in the furnace, but it's a bit large as it is, so we're going to split it in half. Whoopsie. Okay, so we've got all sorts of things floating around here. You can basically chop everything up into very, very tiny little smithereens. Now get back to your halves and your shifts and spend them shiny new Lynx tokens on upgrading your gear. Right, so now I can upgrade to tether modules, and these are very, 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 very useful, as you will see. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Let's Tethers your next ship are your friends. Right, so now we actually get to try this on a real ship. Alright, Cutter. This here macro is stripped down. But there's still plenty there for us to sink our teeth into. Right, let's have a look at see what we're dealing with here. This is a lot more complex. And first of all, we're going to get rid of these nacelles. This is where tethers come in. So, I can tether that down. I can use more than one. And the more I use, the more pull I get on it. So I can actually handle some very heavy things. And I can even attach tethered items to other tethered items. Nice work, Cutter. Like I said, tethers are your friends. Tethers you are your friends. Them, let's see if we can crack into this ship without making her pop. See that airlock over there? Let's go check it out. Okay, so we've got to open the airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Head on in. Using airlocks is always a good idea, but there may be times later when you encounter ships without functioning airlocks. Look for an atmosphere regulator. If it's working, this device will let us depressurize the room safely. You don't want to trigger a violent decompression, believe me. This is what we want, so let's activate that. Alrighty, I'm lighting up your work order with the rest of the objectives for this ship. So that's depressurized. There she is, the reactor. That's your meal ticket right there, Cutter. Mm. Alright, this one's pretty easy. She should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. But before you do that, it's always a good idea to clear a path for her straight to the barge. Because once you pull it, she starts melting down. And when it comes to reactors, you never know how many ticks you got till she goes boom. Right, so I've got to salvage this reactor core, but as you just heard, I've got to take it out quickly and put it in the barge before it blows up and takes me with it. So I've got to clear a way out and um, I've got a couple of options. I could take it out the bottom or I could take it out the back. I'm thinking about taking it out the back. Airlock pressure levels dropping. There we go. We're completely depressurized. That's good. Now, there are four cut points here which would allow me to take the back end off. So I'm gonna do those. Yeah, and don't worry, I'm a professional. I know I'm using a laser cutter right next to a nuclear reactor, but it's fine, honestly, it's fine. I've got two cut points here. Because these can go into process. So I'll just do that with a tether. And that will make its way over there. Goodbye. And then also I can tether this section. That should pull its way over there as well. Perfect. That gives us access now to the nuclear reactor boy. Okay. Valuable 
easy does it. And there we go. Please don't blow. Please don't blow. Please don't blow. Yes. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I'm not going to take the rest of the ship away. That's going to do me for the moment. I'm going to leave it there on that ship because that was just training. Right, I've unlocked quite a lot of things now. Laser cutter upgrades, grapple upgrades, thruster upgrades, scanner upgrades, helmet upgrades, all oh, sorts of stuff. And you start the game with an enormous debt. So I guess that's the goal, really, to get that to zero. Which is going to take a while because that's about a billion dollars. Don't ask how I got there. I won't ask where you got your money. Don't you ask me where I got my debt. I think it might be worth upgrading our thrusters so we can go faster. Right, so let's see what's available in the ship catalogue. So we've got the Swift Swordfish, Saucy Valentine, Nebulous Tetsuo, or the Salty Argonaut. Let's go for the Salty Argonaut, shall we? It looks like an interesting ship. Just looking around at what we're seeing here, I would be very surprised if some of this was not inspired by the artwork of Chris Foss. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is or I'm a horse's uncle. Well, I, I, I kind of am anyway, but if you know what I mean, reply with hashtag Chris Foss in the comments. Okay, let's see what we've got to deal with here. I think we'll start off in the same way that we did with the other. Now, this is the real deal, so we've got to watch out for our oxygen. Also, we only have a limited amount of tethers and time, so it's a little bit squeaky bum. Don't put that nacelle boy down there. So we'll try and keep our deposited. tethers for the heavy stuff. And let's do the same as we did last time. Depressurize. Make sure we don't have any sudden suction. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Certainly nobody wants that. Oh, this uh, is slightly different. Quite a lot going on here. Unit Air will depressurize. That's safe. Let's open Air the airlock. Lock pressure levels dropping. Good, all sorts of stuff floating around here. These we can actually pick up and repair ourselves with. Let's pull that off. There's the reactor. We could try pulling things off the bottom this time. Sever those, which means that now this should just float down all lovely. And I squeeze my way through there. Make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own tube. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level stabilizing. That's better. I position myself beneath like this. If I use a tether, I should do it. Perfect. Now we can get on with salvaging the rest. So let's take this back section off. And I've just noticed we've actually got an extra... Got an extra thruster piece in here. Thruster class one. And this whole section here can go in process. Where are you going? Come here. Now here we can rip these lights off. Transferred. Also these panels. We can reuse those. All of these little lights can be reused as well. There are five minutes left. Some parts we can take off there. We should be able to just rip Caution. these side sections Tethers off like that. Low. My auto's getting low as well. I like how you can tether things to other things. That's really good. Object accepted for processing. I've got about three minutes left. Thank you for your purchase. Oxygen level stabilizing. All right, Cutter. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. I just need one more thing. Let's have a seat. I've got a debt, you know. I've got a tiny wife and three children to support. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Nearly one and a half million space bucks, which is good. And our debt is only 998 million now. Oh, I'm feeling so positive about this. Do you get a certain number of days with each ship, depending on what it is? I think I can s just squeeze through here. Yes, I can. That's good. Oh, what's this? Power cell. Right. Snacks. What do you mean they've got to go in the furnace? Perfectly good snacks. Get them right in there. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Ooh. 
how do you eat an elephant? A little bit at a time and the trunk first. Okay, that's all the floor. The floor is no more. So now we can just drop all of these seats out down to the barge. Those can be recycled into gaming chairs. Got whatever that is. Ow! That was slightly electrical. Oh no, the crisps! It's got to go in the furnace. I don't know what the point of that is because it's already on fire. Uh, ow! Helmet damage okay. detected. Okay. Always okay. use Link's branded repair. Helmet secured. Validating Credits deposited. It is but a flesh wound. That's why we've got these. And that's why we've also got these. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Valuable object processed. Not got much time left. Not got much air left. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Oh, you're just worried about the equipment, aren't you? Of course. I'm not a number. I'm a man. I've really got to upgrade these thrusters. This is too slow. Three minutes. We're over halfway salvaging this thing. What can we grab that's valuable? Can I take the consoles? Come here. Time is winding down, Cutter. I know. Big I know. Let's finish strong. I know. These are bargeable. Ten seconds. Come on. Salvage Come on. Secured. My wife and my child. Ugh. Did that count? I don't know. Great. Uh, nearly a million. And only 997 million space dollars in debt now. Oh. Soon it will all be over. This has only been the tip of the iceberg, of course. There's only so much I can show you in one vid before you fall asleep. But I look forward to getting stuck into dismantling much larger and more dangerous wrecks, and I will be keeping an eye on Shipbreaker on its journey through early access. Let me know what you thought below, and if you'd like to see more, I'll leave a link to the store page in the description, and I'll be streaming more of this on Twitch this week, so join me there. A massive thank you to my patrons who helped me to keep buying pies through these difficult times, and enable me to bring you content like this. I'd be honored to have you support me there, and you can also keep up to date with my content on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group links below. But in the meantime, keep calm and carry on salvaging. Cheerio! Tethers are your friends.